back on Sportsman Radio. I'm your host, Chris Anspell, and I am happy to welcome Chicago Bears running back Khalil Bell on Sportsman Radio. Khalil, how's it going, man? I'm good. Can you hear me? Yep, yep, I can hear you. How you doing, my man? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks again for coming on the air with me, man. No problem, man. No problem. All right, let's get this started, Khalil. You attended UCLA for four years, played football all four years as well. How do you describe your experience at UCLA? Um, I had a wonderful, wonderful experience at UCLA. Uh, you know, as, any, as any young man knows, when you're going through some of the things you go through in life, there's a lot of ups and downs. But you know, my time at UCLA helped shape me into the man I am today. And you know, I'm blessed and fortunate enough I had a chance to uh, attend such a great university. How does it feel to uh, call yourself a Bruin? I mean, no other place I'd rather been, man. You know what I mean? I'm a Bruin for life. My little brother's a Bruin now. He plays wide receiver over there at UCLA now. So, uh, you know, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing that I got to, I got a chance to go there. It's a blessing that he's, he's getting a chance to go there as well. And it's a great place, not only academically, but athletically as well. So, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Does your brother play football as well? Yes. He plays wide receiver. Nice, nice. Well, in 2009, you got to the NFL and you signed with the Minnesota Vikings. You were only there for four months. What, what would you say you learned within those four months with the Vikings? Uh, I think most importantly that the NFL is a business, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know, I got cut. I got cut, unfortunately. So, um, well, I mean, not unfortunately. It worked out in my favor because I love Chicago and I love being a Bear. But, uh, you know, I think it just showed me that, uh, you know, sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to, but they work out. And as long as you stay focused and stay positive, you know what I mean? I think uh, I think that's the, the most important thing I learned. Just stay focused and stay positive and, and, and never let anybody tell you what you can or can't do. Because if I had let them tell me, then that would have been the end of, my, end of my playing days. Yeah, I hear you on that one. One month after that release, the Bears signed you to the practice squad. And being with the Bears for about a month, you are promoted to the active roster. How was it for you to dress up and play your first game in the NFL with the great franchise in the Chicago Bears? Man, it, honestly, it was just a blessing. You know, um, being on the practice squad was tough for that, you know, that, that I think it was you know, two, three months I was there. It was tough being there, but uh, I also knew I was one day I was going to get an opportunity, and I just wanted to make sure when I got my opportunity, I was ready for it. So, um, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason, and I'm blessed and fortunate enough to to uh, have another opportunity to, to go at it again. Uh, and your first NFL game against the Philadelphia Eagles, where you made history by having the longest first carry of a career. I know you said, I believe I heard you say in a few press conferences that you don't want to be known for just that one play, which is very reasonable. I, I know where you're coming from that, but do you mind if I play this clip? It's about 30 seconds long. Oh, go ahead, my man. All right, here we go. Thing, man. 
dang injury started to haunt us. And uh, week 11, the Chargers game, uh, Jay Cutler went down with a, breaking his thumb. Two weeks later, Matt Forte gets injured. Week 13, uh, ended up then Gabe Karimi, of course, ended up missing the season. Uh, week two, uh, how would you describe last season for the Chicago Bears? Um, I think it was it was disappointing. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, we had a lot of injuries, but, you know, injuries are part of the game of football, so anytime guys go down, um, whether they're all pro guys, elite guys like Jay or Matt or, you know, guys like that, um, you know, you still have to have a guys in the background who can come in and, and still do the job, so um, even though, you know, it'd be easy for us to make excuses and say, oh, well, we lost our quarterback or we lost this guy and that guy, you know, we still have, we still have capable players who, who could have went in there and made plays, it's just unfortunate that, you know, some of those games didn't go our way. Yeah, and of course with Forte going down, uh, you know, you and Marion Barber held that running back position for those uh, last few weeks. You ended the year with about uh, 337 yards and, and 79 attempts. How do you feel about those uh, stats? Um, I, feel, I feel good about it. You know, I, I obviously feel, you know, you definitely need to hold on to the ball because, um, you know, I had a couple fumbles there. But uh, I felt good. I felt uh, I had an opportunity to, to kind of showcase some of the things I can do. And, uh, you know, I felt like the offensive line did really well. Um, blocking for me and Armando Allen after uh, Mary and Barbara went down uh, a couple games this season. So um, I think it was a good way to end uh, on a personal note. But, uh, you know, like I said, I would have much rather been in the playoffs trying for a chance to win a Super Bowl. Um, but, you know, things didn't work out that way. And, uh, you know, we're back to the drawing board this year. Got a new offensive coordinator. And uh, just trying to make things happen, man. Yeah, how did you feel about Khalil Bell uh, getting his chance to shine a little bit there at the end of the season? I felt good, man. I felt, I felt, uh, you know, no one, come, no one gets into this game wanting to be, a, you know, a backup or, um, you know, not be a starter. That was my thing. Is uh, I, I knew obviously, uh, you know, Forte was a starter and Mary had been doing good during the season, but I knew eventually one of these days uh, my opportunity was going to come up. So my thing was basically just be as ready as possible. And, yeah, uh, I hear you. Know, you. The, the, the blessing, I mean, it's never a blessing to anybody to get hurt, but the blessing was uh, I tried my best to stay as ready as possible and uh, and to, uh, you know, stay on top of my game. So uh, when I finally did get that opportunity to go in there and, and to make some things happen, um, it just worked out my way. So, uh, yeah, you know, hopefully I can continue to build on that and just get better as a player. Yeah, you guys ended last season 8-8 eight and eight, uh, with a victory against the Minnesota Vikings, so that's always good. You guys ended up ended the season on a, a good note. Uh, and and early, in, early in the season, you guys played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in London. Tell us about that trip, and uh, let me know how you thought you guys played uh, winning that game 24-18. to 18. Man, that was just, a, that was just an, an, an amazing experience, being able to go overseas and to share our game with, uh, you know, the people of London, and uh, also to get a win on top of that. You know, the crowd was into the game. They were energetic. Uh, we put on a good performance for, for the people overseas, and it was just a blessing, man. It was a, it was a good experience, and it was something that uh, hopefully one day I can uh, we can do again one of these days. I don't know if we're ever going to go back to London. I hope we do, but uh, it was just a great experience, man. There's, I really can't even put into words how blessed and fortunate enough I was to be able to get an opportunity like that to go to another country, to show our game, and to try to promote our game to people across the world. Yeah, do you think there's more Bears fans than Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans? Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely more Bears fans. <laughs> Without a doubt, there was more Bears fans. Uh, that place was rocking, man. Uh, I mean, I don't want to say it was anything like but uh, it was definitely rocking. And we had a, we had a phenomenal time out there. Yeah, I bet. And uh, how about that interception Chris Conney had? Were you able to see that? Uh, I know you guys are always busy over on the sideline, but were you able to see that crazy interception Birdman had? Definitely, definitely man. We're, I mean, you know, we're you know being an offensive player. Anytime the defense is on, so once we get our calls from the coach and we see some of the corrections, uh, we're definitely on the we're going on the sideline looking to see what the defense is doing. And anytime they, they're doing good things, or you know, we just want to be a cheerle- we want to be cheerleaders for them out there. Um, you know, not in a literal sense, but, you know, we definitely cheering him on. And, and Conti being a, a California guy going to Cal and being a Pac-12 guy like myself, it was definitely good to see him out there making plays. All right, Khalil, 
Khalil, and the NFL draft was just a few weeks ago. How do you feel the Bears did drafting Shane McClellan with the first over, uh, first round pick and then uh, tr- uh, trading up and getting wide receiver Alshon Jeffrey? How do you feel about those two picks? Well, I feel good about it. Um, you know, I, I feel like we have a, a strong core of veterans on our team. Um, I mean, you know, some of the guys like Brian Erlacher and, and uh, Julius Peppers and Lance Briggs, and, you know, um, I mean, just the list goes on and on. I can go all day, but I, I think uh, bringing these guys into the mix is definitely going to help us compete for a division championship and, uh, you know, help help us get to our ultimate goal, which is to be Super Bowl champions. And, uh, you know, these guys, obviously, they were drafted high because, you know, we, we, we see good things for them in the future, and uh, I'm just excited about what they're going to do for us, and I'm excited for our team because we got a lot of new additions this year that's going to help us uh, reach, the, reach the goals that we fell short of last year. Most definitely. And how, how about that, uh, the the addition of Brandon Marshall reuniting him with uh, Jay Cutler? How do you feel about that? Uh, man, I, I mean, Brandon Marshall has been one of my favorite receivers since, uh, you know, I, since he's been in the league. Um, what yeah. he can do um, for an offense, uh, almost pretty much dictating a defense. You know, you're going to have to put two on him. Um, he's a big physical receiver. He's got great hands. When he catches the ball, his yards after catch is just phenomenal. Um, he blocks, he plays hard, he's everything you want in the receiver. And I think, uh, you know, having him on our team is, 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 is only going to help us reach our limit. Because um, he's phenomenal, man. He, you know, they, they nicknamed him the Beast, and, you know, that's a, that nickname is well deserved because that guy can go out there and flat out make plays. <laughs> All right, Khalil, what has been your workout uh, program throughout this offseason? <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know, when the season ended, um, you know, it ended a little early for us this year since we didn't have playoffs. You know, the year before we had went all the way to the NC Championship game. So I took a little time off um, just to visit family and just to kind of kick my feet up and relax. But, it's, uh, you know, after about a month, I kind of got back into shape, uh, you know, slowly but surely just, you know, running sprints and things of that nature. But now since we're, you know, pretty much in the full swing of the off season, um, really I'm, the things I'm really working on is uh, trying to get faster. Um, obviously, I would love to be able to improve my speed. I'm trying to get quicker. I'm trying to just be more explosive. I think uh, as a running back, the main thing is to be able to see a hole and explode through the hole, not uh, wait for the hole to open. You just kind of anticipate and you to explode through the hole and get to the second level. Anytime you get to the second level, um, you know, that's when you let your guy give an ability to take over. So, um, you know, my thing is really just, just trying to improve myself as a, as a football player um, in all phases of the game, whether it's running routes, whether it's running the ball through uh, between the line of scrimmage, between the tackles. Um, holding on to the football, obviously. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get better as a football player, man. You can never, you can never reach your peak as a football player. So, um, all I want to do is just continue to get better and try to help our team win. All right, Khalil. And final question, number thirty-two. What can the listeners and myself uh, expect to see from you next season? Oh man, <laughs> put me on the spot with that one, huh? <laughs> um, you know, really, man. I- the only thing I'm going to focus on is I'm just going to worry about getting better. Um, you know, I think uh, some of the fans got to see some of the things I could do last year. And, um, you know, my, my goal is just to improve on that. Uh, my goal is to be a better pass blocker out the backfield, a better pass catcher out the backfield, and just to be a better all overall running back. Um, you know, one thing about me is I promise I'll always run hard, and uh, I'll always give everything I got on the football field. So I think when you start worrying about numbers and statistics and how many carries and touchdowns and stuff, you get it kind of takes away from your performance. So uh, the thing I've learned to try to control over the years is just go out there, make sure you're as ready as possible, whether you, you know you know your playbook, you know your plays, you know where you're supposed to be, you know what you're supposed to do. And uh, once you know that, just make sure when you get your opportunity, you try to take full advantage of it because in this league, opportunities are few and far between. So you never know when you get another shot. So, um, you know, right now, man, I'm just I'm blessed to be with the Bears for another year. And I'm just looking forward to, you know, getting an opportunity to showcase my ability to the, to, to the Bears and to the city of Chicago and try to bring home a championship for us. I hear you on that one, Khalil. Good luck next season. I really appreciate your time. And before I let you go, I want to let you know that uh, I have your teammate, DJ Mora, on every 30th of the month for the uh, number 30 on the 30th segment. So if you're interested in ever tuning in, just let me know, and I'll, I'll let you know uh, about the link where you can listen in it. Definitely, man. I appreciate you having me, man. Thank you for the support. All right. And is there anything you want to plug in for uh, my listeners? Anything you want to plug in? 
you guys need to listen to this guy, man. He's persistent. <laughs> and, you know, he obviously does his homework. So, uh, like I said, man, I appreciate you having me. And, uh, you know, anytime I can come on and give you my little two cents for what it's worth, uh, just let me know, man. Hey, this really means a lot to me. And thanks for the support, Khalil. Let's uh, keep grinding. Always, man. Always. God bless. Have All right, take care. You too.